Welcome back to Cray Outdoors. Today we're back on Dauphin Island Beach. You can see it's a low tide at the moment. The beach is super crowded today, so uh, the swimmers kind of chose their spot for us, but this kind of looks like the best spot to go anyway. I'm proud of myself. I've really limited down my setup. Um, I think this is about the most compact I can possibly have everything without having a cart. We managed to take three rods, all three rod tubes, bait, our camera gear. We got uh, some frozen shrimp as bait as well as a variety of lures we might throw. So um, in here I've got my beach towel and I'm gonna use that to kind of set up a workspace so I can set my reels down without having them end up in the sand like that one just almost did. <laughs> workspace set up here and then um, we're gonna start fishing that's the plan all right and there's our workspace my first time surf fishing I brought way too much stuff and carried way too much stuff and it was just a disaster even though we actually caught some fish it was a disaster but um, now we're we're nice and compact and we've got a good system down so uh, hopefully uh, we can catch some fish. That's better. Still didn't quite get it where I wanted it to, but it's better. We're out there anyway. On. Don't know what, feels pretty big though. We're on. Feels hefty. Feels very hefty. Shoot, it's going into my other line. Uh oh, looks like a stingray. Yep, <laughs> that's a stingray, all right. No, well, we don't want to get Steve Irwin here, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my pliers and take care of him. Shoes on with this thing. All right, buddy. Flip them upside down. Steve Irwin. Let me put our cracks on just in case. Do I got him? Do I got him? Do I got him? I think I missed it. Dang it. That was a good bite too. Did I get him this time? I think I got him this time. Got on another something. I'm guessing it's a catfish. Whoa, that rod's going off now. I don't know if I'm in it. I don't think so. Stuff's biting all of a sudden. I yeah, know, I'm not in it. Something on this one. And that rod's going off. Should have on my other camera. I don't know how well you can see. I forgot to switch them out. A little whatever we got. And it's a catfish. Might actually be able to uh, handle this thing without even needing pliers. Whoa. I'm guessing it's a catfish we have hitting that pole too. Yeah, 
Yeah, we can definitely get this out without even needing pliers. I'm concerned about him spiking me. There we go, we got him. We got him. All right, Mr. Catfish. You are free to go. See ya. This bull's still fighting. Is he still hitting this? I can stop fighting. All right, well, I switched to my other camera. That's not as wind resistant but it's better in low light conditions. Hopefully you can see. My other pole's going crazy now. Nope, nope, it's still on there. I think it might have ran into my other line that has a fish on it. Not what I want to be catching, but catfish. yeah. Yep. Right, I'll let this guy go. I know having lights on is bad for sea turtles, so um, I forgot my headlamp. That's a red light. I should have brought. Man, this water is warm. Oh. Oh, this pole's going off. Oh yeah, there's a catfish on it. Yep, another cat. Smaller one. Did we finally get one that swallowed it? We did. <laughs> finally need the pliers for this one. Alright, Mr. Catfish. Ah. All right, well, as you can see, the sun's down. All three rods are in at this point. We caught a little catfish on each rod. We're gonna get out of here. All we're catching is catfish anyway. If bluefish or something cool is biting, we'd probably maybe push it a little bit longer, but um, these catfish are, you know, I think they're fun. A lot of people hate them. I still think they're fun, but um, certainly time to call it quits. Happy Memorial Day. We'll catch you all in the next fishing adventure. Be sure to subscribe. We're at Dauphin Island. I'm out here with my buddy Dustin. Dustin actually flew down to fish with me here in Alabama. So uh, get out of the, the cold in western New York and we're out here on Dauphin Island. This is his first time fishing. Is this your first time fishing the Gulf? Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is cool. second time. Okay. Well, it turns out we were catching fish. Are those baby reds? Uh, I don't know what those are. I think, those I'm, guessing that they're, uh, I'm guessing that they're Kroger's. Yeah, I think they're Kroger's. They're, they're undesirables. <laughs> Cool, well, your, first, your first two fish. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely what was biting. You can use them as bait on that thing. Alright, yeah. uh, throw them in the bait bucket right. then, huh? Alright, my turn to catch something. I don't know if I got it or not. I don't feel nothing. I think I missed it. Oh no, it is another one of those stupid little croakers. <laughs> That's a bigger one. Oh, is that a trout? Ah, it's a trout this time. Is it? Yay! White trout. They're good eating. How big? 
have to ask. I, white trout can be any size. Any size? Sea trout need to be, I mean spotted trout, need to be bigger. This one's a little bit small for eating, but I haven't actually ate a white trout yet. I heard that they were uh, even better than the spotted sea trout, and spotted sea trout are freaking delicious. I'm to try it tonight. Spotted sea trout, I think, need to be like 16 or something. I, don't know, I think I'm gonna let this one go. It's pretty small. We got a big one. They don't get that big though. These ones only get to be like 14 inches max. Nice. Is that one a spotted? One looks a little bit bigger. Bloody. I think that's another white trout. That's another white trout. That one's closer to keeper size. If you want to keep them. Like I said, those things, there's a hundred, you know, they're kind of considered a duck a junk fish. Yeah, yeah, they do. They'll bite through a light line. I just tie it over here. Just tie it to one of these logs. Yeah. I Really, the only reason you tie it up at all is in case a pelican comes by while we're not paying attention. And I'm dead serious. They will, you know, yeah. Biggest something of the day so far. If it's still on there, it feels like it might have came off. Yeah, no, it came off. Dang it, it came off. <laughs> Holy cow, dude, the tan lines <laughs> on the back of your neck is bad. It is bad. It looks like salami. No, no, oh, it popped off. It looked like a little croaker or something. Uh, 